fresh irons, fresh driver, and a fresh set of wedges as well. But we saw some improvements in, in the irons, in the driver, so looking forward to, to really getting them on the course and seeing how they look out there. It should be an easy, easy transition, yeah. I, I had some good momentum, I felt. You know, even after Q School, I went to South Africa for Challenge Tour and it was, it did okay. And that then, bang, COVID hit, you lose three months. I was sat at home. The first opportunity to go compete again, my government, uh, their stance was if you leave, you're not coming back. So I had to make the choice not to go. And um, so I feel like it's been two good years learning wise. It's been, it's been you know, th there's upsides and downsides as there is to, to everything. That's good, yeah, beautiful. Just kind of had a few struggles uh, around a few bits and it's kind of had away at us over the whole year, really. Never quite able to shake it, so sort of short game-wise I struggled and then it catches up with you through the bag then a bit, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, yeah, it's been difficult. Beautiful pick. Yeah. A little bit less offset than what you've got. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if that suits your eye or not. No, it does, it, it does, it looks really good. Nice clean kind of top line, isn't it? Yeah, no, I like them. That'd be good to try them. Yeah, it? do you want to? Let's do like five, seven, nine in those. Yes, yeah. them. Yeah, perfect. Going up in the studio. We all, as golfers, want to improve and think we can improve, don't we? Even when you play well on a Saturday, you'll think of the one shot you've left out there, etc. But yeah, really good. You know, I've shot some good scores. Um, there's there's been some real highlights. So I do, I don't see why I can't compete. Out, out on the European tour, you know, that's that's the goal. That's what I want to do and the best version of me certainly can. The the, the, the miss, I always feel I tend to neck it and overfade it, so maybe, yeah. But then at the same time, I'd hate to be stood there aiming left and not see it. Not see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come back, please. <laughs> so, yeah, wow. Well, that's nice, isn't it? So yeah, you've got a couple beautiful. of different versions we can play with. There's a yeah. single dot and a double dot. It's just basically got different weight positions internally. So oh, it's okay. the same head cosmetically. Yeah. We've just done some different things inside. Yeah, that's similar from the top. Yeah. 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 Beautiful though, isn't it? I think everything's just so good, really. You know, the irons and stuff are kind of unbeatable. And the woods, I, I found the woods have always performed good. I've never had a three wood until, you know, the, this last couple of three woods I've had that the boys have built been great so yeah and um, I'd, I'd tinker only if I saw it was better I'm happy with just being comfortable with summer you know it's another variable isn't it if you throw new equipment in every couple of weeks which some people seem to do don't they shiny new stuff isn't it yeah well that's the only golfers thing, are made yeah. yeah. it's new and it's shiny it's like, yeah. You spend so much time with your clubs and you use them so much, you know, it's something to make a change can be difficult, you know, you, you, it's a variable and you're changing it. So um, I'm usually pretty settled with my equipment, but the last couple of sets of irons I've gone to and stuff, they've just been such an easy, you know, the fit has been great from the day one. So changing model of iron hasn't been too, too difficult. So very lucky in that respect, really. Slightly more rounded head, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A little less offset. Yeah. What does that do, offset-wise? Um, it can help help reduce the left, maybe a little bit. It just depends. Yeah. It, it's all where you deliver it, and I felt good. Hey, you like that? Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Like, cause, yeah, I, I didn't feel any different in terms of strike, etc. Okay. Um, Eight, nine wedge should feel very similar. Yeah. The difference might come at the seven iron because that's the slightly different construction. With the, yeah. Because it's got that micro slot there, whereas the eight, nine and wedge are all one piece forged. So it's a very similar feel to what you've currently got. Okay. As long as you're still progressing or trying to progress or, you know, can see areas to improve. And if I felt I was at my capacity and I was not competing, well, you know what I mean? I'd ask the question and that would probably be me. I, w I wouldn't be satisfied with, with not feeling like I can get better and not feeling like I can push on. So for now, I'm you know, keen as ever and kind of wanting to get developing and get back to it, really. Good one. That was really good. 
Wow, that's... It's kind of, like well, straight away, it's no different to that five iron almost, is it? It's a ledger, I was just thinking, yeah. I mean, yeah, the, that new five iron has basically kind of become Gone. the four iron. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, well, but every, everything else behind it is squeezed into it as well. So you yeah. just, yeah. it's not a big difference. It's just a handy one. You've got a lot more design considerations going into that 223 versus the the tours. I mean, the tours have been great. It's a one piece forging. It's very much a, you know, the same construction as a, as the 221, but it's got some perimeter weight. It's got a little bit of forgiveness, which works great for some guys, but we've just found you know, for Tom, there could be some incremental gains with a bit of technology, you know, going on in the head that's not necessarily seen, and it's still in a nice package that looks good, but it's just, it's giving a little bit more in the long end. Um, it's sorting out this problem that Tom had between the four and the two on quite nicely without, you know, it's kind of something we kind of stumbled across that it's kind of sorted itself out, and it'll be nice to see where that 225 comes in, but that micro slot in there has just increased the ball speed, maintain forgiveness across the face. So it's just a nice gain from, you know, sort of, I, I'm going to guess if we're going to be six iron down, it's just going to stretch those yardages out, which just blends nicely through the back. Through that gap, yeah. So really handy for a player, like I think mm. that's perfect. Yeah. I don't have to do anything you don't different. You have to do anything different. It's just, it's just yeah. here's this and your problems yeah. kind of. And then main thing for you looking down at it, it's still in a package yeah. that looks yeah. Very similar and playable, yeah. even a little bit less offset, which is which is again great. Because I, I thought I'd be coming to get like a you know a four iron equivalent of my two iron. You know that yeah, was yeah. what in my head I thought it might end up, but I'm probably going to have a you know a normal looking iron, which is great. I think matching with the set well and feel good. I just the minimum I'd expect myself is to give it everything. So like to really commit, you know, to commit to this is what I want to do and commit to it. If, if I was not putting the work in or not, you know, that, that then you'd have regrets. But I think if I just give it my best and kind of stay true to myself, then, you know, why not? You know, you'd be happy if you win, lose, whatever. I think that's what's frustrated me a bit the last year or so is I spent so much time thinking I need to get better at this or do this and that. that actually moved away from what I do well. Your attack angle there's great, consistently up on it. That you know you've got the parameters there to chase some distance if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah. I like it though. I think it's good. Again for a like for like. It's just, Again, it's potentially feels like, it's just tightened up. Yeah, yeah, and I think that, that which is enough to kind of warrant putting it in. Well, certainly, yeah, giving it, giving it a run on the course. And yeah, see where we go. You, the, the good shots are always going to be the good shots. You can, you can improve the bad shots. You can kind of dial in and reduce a miss or a bad shot that has a tendency. So we'll always, you know, talk to the player about where's the miss, where's the bad shot, where do you like to see the miss? because um, some guys will like to see him. As Tom likes to see a, a little little peely cut, it's a safe stock shot for him. So everything kind of is designed to, if there is going to be a miss, that's where it will go. You know, a lot of players don't like seeing a quick left one because it's very damaging. Um, so a little a little uh, peely cut that falls safely to the right is, is a safe is a safe miss, and, and we can kind of dial stuff in to to aid that. I mean, we all win the Open, whatever, whatever. But I, I, I do think, I, you know, in terms of your talk of majors, I think the Open uh, is is better. But if you're playing at the Masters, that means you're top 50 in the world. It means, you, you know what I mean? It, there's prestige to that where getting in the Open, you can do it as a qualifier. You can, if you're teeing it up at the Masters, you've earned your way there. And that means you've done a lot of good stuff along the way. Not to say you haven't earned your way to the Open. You see what I mean? It's kind of... That would be something in itself to get to that level in, in the world of golf. Yeah. 